I think that the China uh, strength in the, the yuan has been largely a function of the fact that rates have been lifting in China, or particularly relative to those in the United States. Um, so, you know, we see Chinese government bonds trading around the 2 2.5%. Two um, clearly, US Treasury popped up a little bit last night on the yield side. But nonetheless, that uh, widening spread has been given a bit of oomph to China. Of course, the macro um, uh, benefits from uh, the quick recovery from the virus have also been giving a bit of an oomph, and the exports have been very strong for a couple of months now. Um, when we think about the interaction of the US, uh, the new US president relative to the past US president, clearly Joe Biden will be very much uh, more multilateral. Um, he will you know, bring together, try to bring together uh, other allies and so forth. So we do continue to expect pressure on China uh, from the US, but the way that will manifest itself is in a much more um, a regular sort of way and much more at a multilateral forum level, which I think is incredibly positive for Asia as a region uh, going forward over the next uh, couple of years. Wayne, that certainly is the hope. But on top of that, you have some pretty good growth fundamentals still emerging out of China. We did speak to a guest earlier, though, who thought that in terms of where the authorities are comfortable looking at the yuan rate, that you might say that 6.5 is the limit. I mean, we got close to testing that overnight. Would you agree? Yeah, look, I think those, this is very much going to be determined uh, by how the U.S. dollar behaves over the next 6 to 12 months. Now, we, we have seen a little bit of, um, you know, there's been a very mixed picture, as we mentioned at the beginning, with respect to the dollar. But generally speaking, you would expect the dollar would start to weaken on the back of stronger global growth as emerging market growth begins to recover. Um, uh, then, obviously, the dollar, when people start to look for high yields elsewhere. Asia is very much a focus of this hunt for yields going into 2021. So we do expect that dollar weakness to continue. The degree of the dollar weakness um, uh, is going to largely determine how deep the CPI goes. We have an expectation of 6.3 for the CNY looking forward um, because we do expect that dollar uh, to continue to weaken sequentially over the next 12 months.